The grid control allows you to obtain summary values so you can use them in calculations or to customize grid views. In this video, you'll first see how you can format group rows based on their group summary values. Then you'll see how to obtain total summary values and use them to specify a different display text for footer cells. Let's start with a grid control that already has total and group summaries. A footer cell under the order sum column displays the average column value. The unit price column has two summaries that calculate the maximum and minimum column values. Group rows display the number of records in each group. Select the view and handle its row style event to specify the group row background color depending on group summary values. In the event handler, call the get group summary values method. This method returns the hash table containing values of all summaries for a specified group row. Since the grid only displays one group summary, simply obtain the first element from the view's group summary collection. Use this value as the key value for the hash table to obtain the summary item's value. If the obtained value is greater than 3, change the background color. And let's run the application to see the result. Now group rows whose summary values are greater than 3 are highlighted. Now let's handle the custom draw footer cell event to change total summary display text. First, get the summary item being processed using the event's arguments. Then, obtain the summary value using the summary value property. Finally, generate a new display text which includes the summary type, column caption, and summary value, and assign this text to the event's parameter. The default painting mechanism will be invoked after the event handler execution and it will automatically display the modified text. And run the application to see the result. All total summaries display the summary type, target column caption, and formatted value.